hello and welcome back again to my channel on today's video we're going to be making a short pants trouser today please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed click the notification bell to get notified when i upload a new video okay so i'm going to be using the biggest part of her body measurement to bring out my um fabric and the biggest part is her hip okay so right now i'm taking the length of the trouser which is 20 inches but i realized i'm going to be using band for the trousers so i removed two inches from my band and i marked my 20 inches downwards okay so right now i'm going to be taking the measurement for the flap which is 10 i added one inch extra to make it 11. so guys i'm going to be taking her waist measurements right here and i'm going to be adding two inches extra to it okay so after adding my two inches extra i am going to measure what's remaining of my measurements and i'm going to be dividing it into two give two inches to the other part and give two inches to the other part since i have four inches okay so right now i'm going to be using my free hand to rule out my flap line okay that's the crouch line so guys this measurement is just free hand measurements no ruler no french curve nothing okay so the hip measurement is what i'm marking right now um i added my two inches extra and i added the extra inches for the seam allowance what i have what is remaining is what i divided into to give one part to the other side and give one part to the other side so guys i'm taking the flap measurements also is almost the same thing i did what i have i added two inches extra and give half part to the other side and give half part to the other side depending on what i have left okay if i have two inches left i'm going to give one inch to the other side and one inch to the other side so guys right now we're going to start cutting it out so you can see what we are having I'm going to be dividing it also so guys this is what i'm having this is the waist okay it's 10 inches the hip 11 inches the flap is 12 inches and also 12 inches for the um trouser round okay so for my crouch minus two and i got my crouch measurements okay so i'm going to be using that one to cut out another one okay so guys i'm going to be placing the first one on this one i'm cutting and i'm going to be cutting it out so guys i am not adding any um zip to the front part i am going to be adding zip to the side okay so i didn't mean i'm adding zip to the front part i am going to put allowance at the back so guys this is the pocket i am going to check if the pocket is going to be enough like if the material is going to be enough for me to make a pocket with it so right now the material is enough for me to make pockets with it i am going to then be folding it like so okay but first things first i am going to take this to the sewing machine now and join the crouch area first so guys after joining it this is what it looks like okay this is what we have right here so now i am going to then bring the material for the trouser trim off the excess um fabric that is out like so after trimming it i am going to then divide this two side okay because it's two pockets so i have 10 inches for the length and for the width i have 18 inches which is perfect for a short pant so guys you make sure you be facing the front facing the front like the front facing the front side then you take your pants trouser and you place it like so the front facing the front okay and you place it at one side of the um pocket and you remove one um two and a half inches on the left side okay and you bring it down 
to like eight inches or nine inches if you want your pocket to go down then you mark it like so after marking it like so you then arrange it properly then trim it out so guys after trimming it out this is what we have right here so i am going to be placing one side of the trouser make sure the right side is facing the right side i'm going to then pin it down i'll also do the same thing to the other side okay after pinning it down like so i will take it to the sewing machine and stitch it like so so guys after stitching it this is what it looks like i am then going to press it properly and i am going to take my hemming gum to gum them so they can relax on the fabric okay so guys after pressing it this is what it looks like you can see how relaxed it is i'm going to also do the same thing to the other side okay so guys after doing it this is what it looks like i am then going to turn it backwards and fold it like so make sure you fold them like so remember the two and a half inches we removed the last time so we're putting it back but i'm making it three inches so i can have much allowance on the waist side okay so we are going to be placing that i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and i am going to sew it like sew the back of the pocket then i am going to sew it to the front like so guys make sure you pin it like so for it to relax so i'll take it to the sewing machine and sew it like so i'll sew here and i'll bring it back so guys after sewing it i decided to you know um stitch the two sides and that is it for the waist i am going to measure the waist i already have the 14 and a half inches measurement for the waist so i'm going to be cutting the band but first of all let's stitch the crouch area after stitching the crouch this is what it looks like so for the band i am going to be taking a fabric and i'm going to be folding it into two if you want to use two inches band you make it um three um six inches then you stitch it with one inches or one and a half inches so here i'm making two inches band and this my band is six inches so i'm going to be putting air stay to it to make it um thick and stronger okay after putting my sd i'm going to fold it into two like so and i'm going to iron it properly into two like so can you see how it looks like so i'm going to lose one part of my stitch if you see, if you want your zip in the left you can do it if you want your zip in the right you can do it and that is where i am going to stitch my band to it after doing my band like after stitching the band i am going to add my zip okay i'm using a short zip because it's a short trouser after adding my zip like so this is what our short pant trouser looks like guys you can see i'm going to go ahead and fold it down you can see the zip didn't even affect the pocket okay the pocket is right there where it's supposed to be so right now i'm going to be using two inches to fold it because my um measurement is 16 inches okay after folding our pants trouser this is what it looks like okay this is what our shorts looks like i'm going to go ahead and give it uh ironing to make it look good okay please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel and please click the notification bell to get notified like this video share my video comment down below if you learned something new on my channel today i will see you guys in my next video bye